um, like I said, I play I play a, a Moroccan sand artist in the film, and uh, Sachin's uh, Azan's emotional support. Uh, he comes to me uh, to to. Um, to kind of end his journey, to kind of find uh, some sort of peace with him, with, within himself. And um, I, I'm very grateful for the role, I'm very grateful for both these guys for, give, for giving me the opportunity to play such a beautiful character and um, I, uh, I hope the audience is like, like it. Look, James Bond is a very stylish man and James Bond's character is about 50 years old. I won't say that it's similar to Jason Bond or James Bond or any other franchise character. Azan is an independent character. Azan is an espionage, a raw agent, a agent who is infiltrated behind enemy lines and explores what is happening against him, his country, what is the conspiracy of his country and how to get through that. So, in a way, it is similar and not similar. There is a there is a big difference in between the characters of James Bond and Azan Khan. Well, it's my first movie in general, so Hindi movie as well. It was it was scary for me. Obviously, the language barrier kind of thing, and knowing what what usual Bollywood movies are all about. It's you know the singing and the dancing, which is both not you know none of my strong points, but. They they script the character beautifully for me and you know to my personality. So um, the experience was great. It was a wonderful team we had around us the whole time, and it was it was a lot of fun. The the role for Afrin actually very specific because uh, uh, we wanted someone from Morocco. Now Morocco's uh, uh, ge geography wise, it's uh, it's only 20 minutes from Spain and it was occupied for about 50 60 years by France. So there is a lot of cross breeding. Uh, so, uh, the women in Morocco look very Arabic, very Spanish and very French. So I knew that uh, Candice could fit in, in coming from that part, keeping it authentic. Uh, and I had worked with her and it just, it just seemed to me, uh, because of the innocence that Candice inherently has on her face, uh, that, that I thought that she could play Afrin really well.